Rory Calhoun, a stalwart figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the silver screen with his commanding presence and versatile performances. Whether it was in westerns, crime dramas, or adventure films, Calhoun's on-screen charisma resonated with audiences. Reflecting on his extensive filmography might prompt you to recall the first time you encountered this iconic actor. Can you vividly remember the initial work of Rory Calhoun that captivated you? Or perhaps there's a cherished memory associated with a particular role or film that stands out in your mind. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Your stories and memories contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for Rory Calhoun's contributions to cinema. Let the reminiscences flow as we celebrate this legendary figure together. In 1943, Rory Calhoun's Hollywood journey took an unexpected turn while horseback riding in the Hollywood Hills. A chance encounter with actor Alan Ladd, facilitated by Ladd's wife Sue Carroll, led to Calhoun landing a one-line role in the Laurel and Hardy comedy short The Bullfighters under the name Frank McCow. This early break set the stage for Calhoun's future in the entertainment industry. Fast forward to February 19, 2019 when Calhoun received recognition in the form of a sketch of the day caricature on the Greg Jones website. This acknowledgement underscored his enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Calhoun's presence extended beyond the screen, notably in an episode of The Simpsons. His name found a place in popular culture when he was mentioned multiple times in an episode where Mr. Burns steals puppies from The Simpsons. This nod within a beloved show speaks to the lasting resonance of Calhoun's contributions to entertainment. In various facets of his career, from a chance encounter in the Hollywood Hills to a caricature tribute in 2019, and a memorable mention on The Simpsons, Rory Calhoun's journey is a testament to the unpredictable nature of success in the entertainment industry. Guy Madison, a fellow actor and close friend of Rory Calhoun, shared more than just a professional camaraderie with him. Their bond extended to personal adventures with frequent fishing and hunting trips. The connection ran so deep that Guy Madison and his wife, Sheila Connolly, honored Calhoun by naming him the godfather to their firstborn daughter, Bridget. Calhoun's political inclinations also marked a distinctive aspect of his life. As a registered Republican, he actively campaigned for Richard Nixon in both the 1968 and 1972 elections. His involvement in the political arena showcased a different facet of the actor beyond his contributions to the entertainment industry. Family played a significant role in Calhoun's life, with daughters from different marriages adding to the richness of his personal narrative. His daughters with Lita Baron, namely Cindy, Tommy, and Lori, were born between 1957 and 1961. Another chapter unfolded when Rory Patricia, his daughter with Sue Rhodes, entered the picture in 1971. These aspects of Rory Calhoun's life, from cherished friendships to political engagement and family bonds, provide a nuanced perspective on the man behind the screen. It's a tapestry woven with personal connections, political convictions, and familial ties that complement his journey in the entertainment industry. Rory Calhoun's life took unexpected turns, revealing a complex persona beyond his on-screen presence. In his teenage years, he faced a troubled path, dropping out of high school and delving into petty crime, eventually spending three years in a federal reformatory after being caught for car theft. Surprisingly, Calhoun later took control of the narrative by publicly disclosing his own prison record, a bold move that showcased his resilience. Beyond the shadows of his past, Calhoun's second wife, Sue Rhodes, added an intriguing dimension to his life. A journalist by profession, she brought a unique perspective to their relationship, intertwining the worlds of entertainment and media. The dynamics of their union offer a glimpse into Calhoun's personal life, revealing layers beyond the glitz of Hollywood. While his personal struggles and relationships shaped him, Calhoun continued to navigate the unpredictable terrain of the film industry. The Hollywood Production Pulse section of Variety on June 30, 1971, listed a movie titled Everman, featuring Calhoun alongside notable actors. 
However, the fate of this film remains uncertain, leaving a cinematic enigma in Calhoun's career. In the intricate tapestry of Rory Calhoun's life, the revelation of his teenage transgressions, his marriage to a journalist, and the enigmatic film project Everman collectively paint a portrait of a man who transcended the boundaries of both personal and professional spheres. Facing tumultuous teenage years marked by a troubled path, Rory Calhoun's life took unexpected turns. From dropping out of high school to delving into petty crime, he found himself in a federal reformatory for car theft, serving a three-year sentence. Remarkably, Calhoun later boldly disclosed his own prison record, showcasing a resilience that would shape his future. Beyond the shadows of his past, Calhoun's personal life unfolded with intriguing dimensions. His second wife, Sue Rhodes, a journalist by profession, added a unique perspective to their relationship, intertwining the worlds of entertainment and media. Their union offered a glimpse into Calhoun's life beyond the glitz of Hollywood, revealing layers shaped by personal struggles and relationships. Navigating the unpredictable terrain of the film industry, Calhoun faced enigmatic moments. A Hollywood production pulse section of Variety on June 30, 1971, listed a movie titled Everman, featuring Calhoun alongside notable actors. However, the fate of this film remains uncertain, leaving a cinematic enigma in Calhoun's career. As Calhoun's life progressed, his appearance became increasingly gaunt, leading him to become a regular guest on television series in the 1980s. Despite the challenges, he continued to leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In the later stages of his life, Calhoun faced personal and health struggles. His second wife, Sue Rhodes, and a tumultuous divorce with Lita Barron, who alleged numerous instances of adultery, added complexity to his personal narrative. In the end, Calhoun succumbed to advanced stages of emphysema and diabetes, marking the conclusion of a life shaped by resilience, personal tribulations, and a lasting legacy in entertainment. Rory Calhoun, known for his diverse career in the entertainment industry, once candidly assessed his filmography in a 1959 article. Expressing a critical view, he highlighted with a song in my heart and How to Marry a Millionaire as the only two films he considered good, deeming the rest as terrible. This self-evaluation provides a glimpse into Calhoun's perspective on his own work, setting the stage for an exploration of his journey in the film industry. Notably, Calhoun's entry into Hollywood was orchestrated by agent Henry Wilson, recognized for nurturing young talents with unique names. Initially dubbed Troy Donahue, Calhoun eventually adopted the moniker Rory Calhoun. This intriguing name transformation adds a layer of intrigue to his career trajectory, reflecting the calculated decisions behind the scenes. A Hollywood Production Pulse column in the July 22, 1970 issue of Variety unveils another chapter in Calhoun's filmography. The movie The Low Price of Fame, starring Calhoun alongside Gardner McKay and Yvonne DiCarlo, commenced filming on May 18, 1970, in Iowa. However, the fate of the film remains uncertain, as there is no evidence of its completion or release. This unresolved cinematic venture adds a touch of mystery to Calhoun's body of work. In examining these facets of Rory Calhoun's career, his self-critical assessment, the strategic name change by Henry Wilson, and the enigmatic film The Low Price of Fame, we gain insight into the complexities that shaped his journey in the entertainment industry. These details contribute to a comprehensive understanding of Calhoun's experiences, showcasing a nuanced portrayal of the actor beyond the spotlight. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves immersed in the legacy of the remarkable actor, Rory Calhoun. A trailblazer on the cinematic stage, Calhoun's performances have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight of reminiscence. Take a moment to reflect on the personal threads that connect you to Rory Calhoun's cinematic journey. What memories arise when you recall the flickering images on the screen? the cadence of his voice, or the emotions he effortlessly conveyed. Your reflections weave into the rich fabric of shared appreciation for a talent that transcends time. As the echoes of Calhoun's performances resonate, we invite you to share your favorite memories and thoughts. Your words become an integral part of this collective celebration, a tribute to an artist who has touched hearts and sparked imaginations. Let your reflections be a testament to the enduring impact of Rory Calhoun's contribution to the world of entertainment. 
In closing, we extend our sincere appreciation for your time and interest in commemorating the artistry of Rory Calhoun. Your reflections add depth to the narrative, ensuring that the legacy of this exceptional actor continues to thrive in the collective consciousness. Thank you for joining us in this journey down memory lane and for honoring the cinematic brilliance of Rory Calhoun. Until we meet again for another rendezvous with the stars, appreciate the moments, celebrate the art, and keep the magic alive.